I'm Jim Kennedy. I am a, a Regents Professor in the Department of Biological Sciences. My area of specialty is uh, the study of aquatic insects. Uh, I'm actually trained as an aquatic ecologist, but I use aquatic insects as one of my tools when I, when I do aquatic ecology. Aquatic insects and the Antarctic midge that we're working with are really perfect um, examples of an animal that we can use to gauge biologically significant changes in temperature by looking at differences in growth rate, uh, those sorts of things uh, that are associated with the development of the midge. Right. Nobody's really looked at the ecophysiology of the midge like uh, how we're studying it. So this is all virgin ground, virgin research. Everybody is familiar with midges, whether you know it or not. Uh, anybody that has gone to uh, a body of water and has had little flies flying around your face, um, and those flies don't bite, uh, if they bite there's something else, but if they don't bite they're just flying around your face and they're kind of a nuisance, that probably is a midge. And the, the family name uh, for that midge is a Carinomidae and it's, uh, it's a dipter and it's related to house flies and so on, only it's a lot smaller. The uh, Antarctic midges are the only aquatic insect, in fact the only insect that lives in Antarctica. So it's one of two different species um, that live there and there are no other insects uh, in Antarctica. Uh, and the reason we developed this project was to develop long-term studies that we could document what the midge's life cycle is now, uh, how it responds to temperature changes, uh, what's its upper temperature that it can survive, what's the lower temperature that it can survive. And then the, the idea is that this project's going to go on for another 20 or 30 years. Our, our adventure in, in Antarctica began with a, a flight, um, commercial airline flight from Punta Arenas, Chile, uh, to uh, St. George Island. Uh, and that's part of the uh, Antarctic Islands, just off of the peninsula. Uh, our first encounter was penguins. I've seen penguins before because I've, I've spent quite a bit of time in, in southern Chile, but these penguins were just roaming around uh, at the field station. Almost every day we saw whales, whale spouts, we saw uh, four or five different species of penguins, um, lots of different Antarctic birds, um, lots of different types of seals uh, and so on. So it was, the wildlife was, was incredible. Uh, and, you know, we just had to work your way around that wildlife and be, be careful because some things, the seals would sometimes blend in with the background. If you weren't paying attention where you were walking, you'd almost stumble over the, over the seals and so on. So it was, it, was, it was beautiful. It was just absolutely beautiful. Aside from all the research that we were doing, it was just, it was beautiful.